So let me bring in defense attorney David Beller, not involved in this case, but has followed it very, very closely. David, what's your reaction to this? Were you expecting guilty on everything? I really was. And, you know, the jury only had two options here. The jury could either find him guilty of all counts or guilty of each count, or the jury could have found him not guilty by reason of in reason of insanity. In this case in Colorado, not guilty by reason of insanity is an incredibly high burden. There's not a question that he was in fact the shooter. There's not a question that he was the individual who committed each one of these crimes. The only question for the jury was whether or not he was going to be not guilty of insanity or guilty of all counts. Was there anything during these 10 days of testimony, there was a lot of powerful information that came out from the witnesses there. He was inside the store allegedly yelling, this is fun, this is fun. People described him as cold, robotic, calculated. His family admitted he had some serious mental health issues before this, but they never treated it. Was there anything leading up to this that made you think for a second, maybe there's a chance that he wasn't sane when this happened and a jury in Boulder, just down the street from where the mass shooting happened, could actually find him not guilty? Absolutely. The fact that he was uh, incompetent to proceed for a long period of time meant there were a series of both state and court appointed doctors who were so concerned about his mental health and his mental illness that they did not know whether or not he could even assist in his defense.